Hey guys, here today with another Shure Grub knife. This one is on the custom Quantum Carbo that was sent in by a friend, so really appreciate that. But anyways, the Qu Quantum Carbo is a variant of the original Quantum, which as you guys know, is a full titanium frame lock design. This knife right here has composite handles and also an inset lock design which uh, stands proud here where the lock actually bends and uh, allows it to have a much thicker lock than we usually have on liner lock knives. Now let's go ahead and talk about the specs of the knife here. And taking a look at the coin, we have the new updated coin design, this being a 2021 knife. And we also have on the back here, it says Quantum Carbo, one out of eight. So I expect that there should be seven other knives done in other material combinations. The blade is a satin S125V. And for the handle, we have marble, carbon fiber, titanium, and mokutai. We also have zirconium, which isn't listed here, on the rear handle screw. And the pivot is double row roller bearings. And then we have Sergei signing the coin here, and this knife is dated for March of 2021 this year, and indeed this knife was available at the site auction. Uh, interesting note, you can see here that marble is spelled incorrectly. Um, this isn't the first time that I've seen this. Sergei and the workshop being from Russia, you know, their English isn't the greatest sometimes. Um, I remember at Blade, there was the 110 kickstop um, production prototype that engraved on the handles said production prototype with an A. So you sometimes get slip-ups like that. But anyways, um, not too much to talk about uh, in terms of a size comparison because as many of you guys know, the Quantum is the same size as the F95 in terms of cutting length, overall length, and handle length. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the weight here. Since, you know, this being a uh, mostly carbon fiber handled knife, I expect the weight to be very, very light. And indeed, we're looking at around 3.7 ounces, 3.69 here. Uh, so for a knife with four inches of cutting length, uh, very, very, very manageable weight here. Now, taking a look at the blade, again, this is a satin finished S125V. Um, Sergei absolutely loves working with S125V, and I think it's the most dominant steel that you see on his customs if you're not looking at a knife that has Damascus on it. Um, but this is done in a hand rub that uh, I really actually wish followed the curves of the, the Persian style blade here on the Quantum. I know Sergei always does the lines straight out, but uh, you know, on a knife that has uh, a blade that has as many curves as the Quantum does, uh, I think having the satin run with the curves would be really nice. But uh, overall, very well executed satin finish, uh, as you would expect from Sergey. Now the Quantum Blade, I uh, won't talk about too much since I, I did already do a video on the Quantum, but uh, has these wonderful swedges going on here. And um, these swedges run into the jimping and also stop midway here through the length of the blade. And we do have an additional uh, slight chamfer here to finish it off. Uh, the, I, l I love the shape of the Quantum Blade. Um, it's very aggressive looking and comes to a very fine tip here as well. But specifically on the Custom Quantums, you can see here that the top of the blade spine has also been satin finished. And also the uh, jimping, or the jimping right here, um, it's interesting because I've, I've owned a full Custom Quantum before, and uh, the jimping on mine was quite functional, uh, even though it these uh, the jimping right here looks very shallow. However, on this one, uh, it, it actually doesn't have as much uh, bite as the Quantum that I had, so I'm not sure if uh, that's just something that is present on, on this sample here, or um, if the newer quant Custom Quantums are just are not having as aggressive jimping. Um, something else to note is that the um, fuller cutout here is a little bit different on the customs compared to the custom division and production knives. On the customs, they, they, there's this little bump here that starts around the plunge grind area, uh, as opposed to on the production where it just goes flat across. I also love the flipper tab on the Quantum. Um, the faceting is, is just amazing, and I love how it tapers off here on the back 
Um, again, just, just something that gives uh, some visual aesthetics as opposed to just having chamfering that will knock the edges off of the knife. You can also see the skeletonization here is a little bit offset. Um, that gives uh, much more interesting angles to the flipper tab, I think, as well. And another nice thing that I love about the Quantum is that the flipper tab front lines up with the, the, uh, this angled cut here on the handle as well. So you get a really nice purchase area for indexing your thumb for flips. Really nice. Moving on to the handle here, you can see that the, uh, this has the new larger pivot screw, this being a newer knife with that reduced diameter pivot collar. And the handle is done in carbon plates, marble carbon fiber. Now, when I first saw pictures on the site, I wasn't really too thrilled with this choice of marble carbon fiber since I do like a wider weave uh, in the marble carbon fiber that I prefer. Uh, I'm actually a really big fan of marble carbon fiber. Um, but uh, in person, the material is really nice and uh, the tightness of the weave really allows the light to, uh, really allows the knife to catch the light and uh, get these really interesting um, you know, kind of iridescence, glowing, glowiness to the handle. Um, on the rear here, you can see that there is that zirconium screw to match the black color of the handle. And uh, we also have the Shirograv logo milled here on the back, which is actually a feature that comes from the production knife, which came much, uh, much later after the introduction of the a full custom quantum design. So this actually is an example of a feature from a production knife going back up to a full custom, as opposed to the traditional flow of features from a custom to custom division to production. Um, so I, I actually really like this. Um, the logo milled into the handle here that uh, kind of intersects with the contouring, which allows the logo to stand a little bit proud on the bottom half is a really cool design and something that I really liked about the uh, production quantum. Um, another interesting note is that the milling pattern here is the exact same uh, and was lifted off of the full titanium um, quantum variant, uh, the original design. And I really wish that Sergei would do a different pattern on the carbon fiber version here or the composite material version here, because I, I don't think that the handle milling really translates that well into the titanium. Um, as you can see here, the quantum kind of has this inset area that has this wa uh, wave milling. And I don't think that just translates well into uh, at least this marble carbon fiber, especially with how uh, busy the pattern is. So I really wish that Sergio would kind of come up with a, a different pattern for these composite handled knives. Um, but we'll, we'll just see, I, you know, this knife being in the series, I assume that the overall look of the milling is going to be the same. So that's a little unfortunate, but uh, it does look very nice still, um, all things considered. Going over to the lock side here, you can see that we do have this inset lock that sticks out. Um, really wonderful integration here with the rest of the handles. And I especially love the integration with the clip here. As you can see, the clip and the lock are finished in, in that same, you know, uh, tumbled titanium. So we, and you know, taking a look at the, the, the shape of the clip and the shape of the lock, it really looks like one flowing piece of titanium. So really nice uh, visual design going on here. But overall, again, you can see that we, on the carbon fiber, we have that same exact milling pattern that we would see on the titanium version of the Quantum. And going ahead and taking a look at the inside of the knife here, we can see that that liner is inset into the carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber is milled out to accept that inlay so it stays flush here, as opposed to um, the F3, for example, where the liners, where the scales uh, sit on top of the uh, liner. This liner actually is inset into the carbon fiber. So really heavy milling being done onto on, into the carbon fiber to accept uh, this this liner, but still maintain you know a reasonable thinness as well. Uh, another interesting note here is on the backspacer. This backspacer being Mokutai, um, because the logo has been moved here. Uh, on the original Quantum, the logo was actually deep inside here, uh, where this one is. But uh, again, because the logo is on the outside, Sergey has put uh, the series number on the inside of the backspacer here, which is this is the first knife in the series. 
And uh, because it's Mokotai, he's uh, kind of done satin finish on the rest of the backspacer on the high points, uh, but then flame anodized this one spot here and then laser engraved that number one. So really nice visual effect. And just another example of some features that you can really only see when you have the knife in person. Um, now we also have Sergei's signature here as well, a little bit difficult to see, but uh, usually he puts his signature on the backspacer, but since the series number is on here, uh, he's done it on the actual lock bar itself. Now taking a look at the backspacer here, you can see again that backspacer being done in Mokotai, and uh, just like other quantums, it has that kind of um, floating effect because of the triangular shape of the backspacer in the handle, uh, and the slight gaps here on both sides. It's a little bit difficult to see since the handle material is black, but um, you get this really nice floating backspacer effect that is, is very minimal and I think is really the best way to execute a floating backspacer. I really hate knives with uh, huge gaps, uh, floating knives with floating backspacers with huge gaps and invisible pins. Just really not my thing. So I really like what Sergei has done here in this design. Uh, again, we have that integrated lanyard loop that is uh, similar to the uh, all other quantums as well. And um, lastly, uh, of interesting note, um, if we take a look here, you can see the blade steel being marked on the inside of the pivot area. But the pivot system for this knife, although being on double row roller bearings, is done with this kind of, um, how do I describe it? This phosphor bronze um, ring that surrounds the outside of the pivot. Now, what, what is the purpose of this? Now, most people love washers because it prevents the ingress of dust and dirt into the pivot system. Uh, most people love bearings because uh, you get a really quick flipping action and um, you, know, you get also a really nice drop shut action as well. Now what Sergei has attempted to do with this system, uh, with this new uh, bearing system, is to kind of have the best of both worlds. Now, as you can see here, uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see this uh, phosphor bronze material uh, visible on uh, contacting the blade and the handle here. Now, at first glance, if you didn't know any better, you would think that this knife was a washer knife. However, what Sergei has done is he has shrinken, shrunken the inside diameter of his double row roller bearing system, and then also accommodated this very thin outer diameter of phosphor bronze that acts to basically seal in the bearings from any debris that uh, might happen to get inside. So because the um, outer diameter of the, or the outer ring of the phosphor bronze has a very, very, um, very low, uh, it's, it's very thin, um, you're basically reducing the amount of contact that you have on that uh, washer. And so you're, you're really allowing the bearings to do most of the support of the blade on the handle. So what this means is you get a very, very nice action. Um, I think the knife still has to wear in a little bit since uh, it is that new updated pivot design, but it's, it's very smooth. Um, and if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that this was a double row roller bearing knife, but looking at it again, it looks like it's on washers. So very interesting execution. Um, of note, I want to say that Snex is doing a similar design, except instead of using a phosphor bronze ring, he actually has a, 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 a groove milled into the handles, which uh, he fills with grease. And then that grease acts as a way to uh, keep debris out. Um, I think this is a much more simpler to maintain design. And also I think it should, you know, it theoretically also get give you better seal since the washers are sized exactly to the gap. And then you have the uh, roller cage, which is obviously thinner and then the roller bearings uh, being the same diameter as the, or same thickness as the washer to again, support the blade as well. So really innovative design here. And uh, I hope that this feature comes uh, with, uh, I hope that we see this uh, new washer pip, uh, bearing hybrid pivot system in all new knives that are using um, roller bearings. Although I'm, I feel like it would be a little bit difficult to accommodate two rows of roller bearings alongside with that phosphor bronze outer ring on say a knife as uh, with a pivot area as small as a neon, but we'll just have to see what's going on. Um, of note as well, um, this knife, although it is carbon fiber, it does have a washer that's supporting it on both sides. So 
Uh, interestingly, unlike um, the majority of other knives that Shirogura makes on rollers, uh, this knife has micro rollers. They're one millimeter, uh, one millimeter thick rollers, and they're incredibly difficult to work with. Um, for comparison, most uh, the traditional rollers and, and ball bearings, for that fact, are 1.5 millimeters in diameter, um, which a lot of people already complain about already. Um, but uh, since this knife does not have the roller uh, race milled into the blade itself, uh, it's actually milled into the carbon fiber, um, we actually have uh, Sergei using micro rollers here, which I think is very interesting. It really goes to show that um, you know, Sergei is, is designing these pieces and he designs everything in-house. Um, he, he makes all the parts that he needs to uh, make his designs uh, a reality. And I think that's really awesome. And the use of micro rollers on this knife here, uh, again, is just, uh, it's just another example of that. Um, but overall, um, not much to say since I feel like many of you guys are already familiar with the Quantum, so I just kind of wanted to go over some of the things that makes this knife special and stand out. And there, again, there are some really cool features that we're seeing here. Uh, this inset lock design, the new roller uh, washer hybrid pivot system, and uh, I'm really excited to see the future customs. Um, every time Sari comes out with a new round of customs, uh, there's just always something new. And uh, again, this is why I love doing these videos and kind of talking about those features with you here today and uh, hopefully in the future as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, see you guys next time.